Howdy y'all, Bearded Carpenter here. Glad you could join us this morning. We're getting a little bit cooler weather, which we're really thankful for. And so we decided to get out here and start doing a little bit of clearing. Uh, if you remember in the second video that we did where we talked about a, a building site, what you needed to do to prepare for it or picking out a place, uh, we have decided on a place to put the cabin and we're right on top of a ridge not too many level places around here to to build anything so you either have to do some excavation or do do some extra work to be able to put something in but i'm going to turn around here and i'm going to show you what we're dealing with if you look through there there's uh quite a bit of underbrush and there's some cedar trees and little elm saplings and there's one blackjack tree right there that I'm going to have to cut because it's leaning right over the end or will be leaning it's not yet but it will be leaning right over the end of the of the cabin we have decided to build this cabin 12 by 16 and it will just kind of run with the lay of the land and we'll try to walk through here there's a lot of brush and stuff under my feet you may hear it crackling but right in here is where we're going to uh, put this little cabin Step across here without tripping and falling. There's the, the blackjack that I'll have to cut. It's not that big of a tree, but it's it's in the way. So I've got to do some clearing out and cleaning up here. So y'all grab your axes, your chainsaws. We need to get started here building a cabin. I was going to show y'all how I hook a chain on a log to pull it. A lot of people will just take their chain and just hook it in the log like that. But that could, you can see as I'm pulling on the chain, that could slip off of there. And then you're stopping and hooking back up. 
But what I like to do is to pull that the chain, the hook in around the around the chain like that and hook it back into itself. And this would be the, the end that would be hooked to your tractor or whatever you're pulling with. And what happens as you put tension on, on the chain, it will tighten up on there and you won't be as apt to lose your log. I don't know where I learned that. I don't remember who taught me that, but I've been doing this for years and years and it works really well. And it's easy to unhook and get the chain out and then you go on and get another log.